Hello, thanks for clicking my video. I'm Bald182, and today I'll be playing a little game about games. I was first shown this game by my good mate Kev, who shares the Steam Light Games Library with me, actually. Um, he actually got me the game as a little present or gift on Steam. Uh, I think it was on sale for £3 at the time. It's uh, in the Steam just now for £6.99. Um, yeah, wait, wait until the Steam sales and then you can get that for cheaper. Um, so, those of you who don't know what the game Dev Tycoon is, um, you play a game as a game developer. Um, you start off in your gar your garage in the 1980s as a small time game developer, making games for like the PC and the Commodore 64, although it's called the G64. They kind of rename everything as as they go along in it, and as you'll see. Um, the, they bring out the NES, which actually turns out to be called the TES. Um, so you, like I say, you start as a small time game dev, create games to gain fans, and as time goes on and on, newer consoles come out. Uh, I am using a couple of mods on this, so the mods I'm using is competitors and the visibility of competitors, because in the original game, yeah, you getting told about your competitors, but you can't see what they're making, how many fans they have or anything like that, so that gives you all the visibility on that. Uh, another important thing, another important mod that I thought was uh, worth installing is Learn By Doing. So you can get employees in the game and... I mean, Learn By Doing, it's it's just it's just a natural thing, isn't it? Um, if, you, if you work at a job, you learn as you go along. Um, the other mods I've got, <coughs> Rename Company, so that's just not even, it's just an aesthetic mod, so if we feel like changing the name of the company, you can do that. Uh, percentager, so you've got to balance everything in the game, and how you, in the development stages of the game, on how you want to spread your time out on, say, the engine, gameplay, etc. Um, so that gives you kind of just the visibility of what percent that you're putting everything at. In the original game, you're going blindly into it, so I feel like this just kind of gives me a little bit more visibility on, on the situation of the game. Um, apart from that, it's, it's just an amazing game. I love it. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started on this. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting a new game here. What shall we call the company? Panda Corp. <laughs> or the Panda Corporation. Mr. Panda Pants. So we'll just randomize him up a bit there. <laughs> Look at me, small Asian man. I love it already. Unlock hints. Since you've played the game before, you can choose to use all the previously gained hints in this new game. Yes, we will do that because that just kind of helps us out. I've played this a lot before, and this just kind of helps out. See what what's good, what goes good with what. Save over that. Okay, let's see what we've got. So first off, we'll start off by picking a topic. So we've got hunting, fantasy, fashion, or hacking. Loving that I'm starting with fantasy because I know that this works well every time. Fantasy RPG. Um, we'll do it on the G64 because that has more market share and it has the same. You look, it has the same plus plus symbol as the PC. I mean, they're more or less the same. Simulations up a bit on on the PC. But we'll go for the G64. And our game will be called. Thinking along the lines of Final Fantasy. Mm. 
endless hallway. There we go. <laughs> Text based? No, no, we want a 2D graphics game. That's what we want. And now we get the little guy to just make our game and balance these sliders. So, as you can see, I've like played the game before, so we've got a bit of knowledge on what fantasy RPG should be. Story and quests, right up. Uh, engine's quite important. Uh, sorry, gameplay is quite important. Engine goes right down. Double negative, so no time goes into that by the looks of it. Say okay to that. Dialogues, we want plenty of dialogues, people speaking over the top of each other. <laughs> Artificial intelligence down. Now you'd you think in an RPG that you'd want that up, but apparently not. Apparently not. Some of the things in this game, like I don't know how they make sense, but I mean then again, I'm not a game developer. Design right up. Graphics quite a lot. Sound, meh. Endless hallway. Looking good? Release the game! First reviews for our newly released game, Endless Hallway, came in. 7. Nice experience. 8. Very enjoyable. They played it for days, Game Hero did. Very good! Very good from all games. So, as you can see, Fantasy RPG winning formula. News! Panda Corp, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Endless Hallway. The game received favourable reviews. With such a good start, Panda Corp are sure to gain fans quickly! So our first month of sales... Endless Hallway sold eight, over 8,000 units in its first week on the market and we made it into the charts at number 10. So, that's a really good start. That's a really good start. We're going to um, just carry on with this. Endless Hallway is so successful we now have 69 fans. And now we can generate a wee game report, game report about that. Endless Hallway has achieved company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Pandacorp. Right, let's generate that game report. Endless Hallway. Endless Hallway! I remember when I was a kid, I actually used to dream that I was caught in an endless hallway. It was a horrible dream. Now we can use some of the points we've made from making that game. See, we get research points up here. We can use them to study a new topic or create an our own custom game engine. We don't want to do that just yet, so we're going to go for a new topic. Ooh. The dungeon school superheroes are detective. Uh, superheroes, I never really know what to do with those, so. Uh, Quite like detective and school, school for young audiences. Dungeon though, let's just go for a dungeon game. Dungeons and Dragons style. And that's always kind of dying off now. Use successfully researched topic dungeon. Let's develop that game. 
Straight up. Straight up, yo! <coughs> so, a dungeon... Uh, simulator. Dungeon simulation game. Dungeon strategy game. Great combo. Uh, strategy is good on G64. Cool. Um. Who's in the dungeon? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's in the fucking dungeon? And there's always no off the market. It sold 26,865 units, generating 1,888 in sales. <gasps> in that grand. In that grand. Who's in the dungeon? Who's in the dungeon? Who's in the dungeon? Right, I've never made a dungeon strategy game before, I don't think. That looks nil. Artificial intelligence quite high and level design right up. Okay. We'll go with that. We will go with that. Graphics right down. Sound up high. World sound quite high as well. We'll go with that. Industry news. Recent market studies suggest that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer a lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over home computers. Mm. Experts say this might spell the end of computing hard competing hardware manufacturers. We well, you know that doesn't happen. So, yeah, as I said at the beginning of all this, uh, we are in the 1980s just now, so that's I'm thinking that it's not going to catch on, but actually we know, we know a different, because we're playing a game about games right now. Work those bugs out, baby. Show me those bug cracking skills. Who's in the dungeon? Who's in the dungeon? It's me, I'm in the dungeon. Research a new topic. City. First reviews for who's in the dungeon. Your focus on level design served this game very well. Very good. Beautiful. Strategy games work well on G64. That's what all games said about my game. The game that I made. Boom! Let me see that money! Let me see that money, bitch! Let me see that money! Let me see that money, bitch! Oh, industry news! According to rumours, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Okay, there we go. As I said, going through the years, and new new consoles are coming out. You have successfully researched new topic city. So let's make a city game, then, eh? City simulator. 
you know what I'm thinking, SimCity uh, for the PC because that's actually better on the PC. We'll call it Slim City. So that looks like a sap already. Just go with that. No dialogues, artificial intelligence, right up. Level design crack and doing a bit. Ba, 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 ba. How are you doing? You alright? You alright there? You alright? You're alright there, aren't you? Because I'm not. What are we doing here? That looks a bit right. That looks a bit right. That's what I got to tell. That's what I got to tell at the end of the day. Did. Today, an Invento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called the Taz early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and uniquely designed controller. Right, work those bugs out. Who's in the dungeon is now off the market. Sold 31,000, generating 223,000 in sales. So that's grand. That's grand, eh? Hey? Check that shit out. We're just finishing off Slim City as well. Slim City. Release that game. First reviews for it. Very good. The fuck is a good place. Trying to get you out. It's all round. Now that's quite a good game if you ask me. It's not a ten though. Not a ten. That's what we're aiming for. So we've got game reports. Oh, we've got game reports both to do. Who's in the dungeon? <laughs> I love the name of that game. Oh, contract work. Hi there, I've just finished Slim City and I love your work. <laughs> I'm in the contracting business and we could use your skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and we'll see if we've got some work for you, Jason. So in between games you can earn money by doing little contracts for peoples. For Jason. Come on. Gameplay seems to be very important for who's in the dungeon. I'll remember that when I make the sequel. Game report for Slim City. Let's just quickly look at our game, his game history. We had three games so far. All been pretty good. So I'm gonna be honest. 7.75, 7.75, and then an all round 8. Just getting better. So let's see if our next one can be even better. Story quest not important for that type of game. Okay, so actually let's research. No, let's not. Oh, the new game. Straight up. Straight up, yo! Fashion game. Fashion game. Fashion uh, fashion action, fashion adventure, fashion strat. Fashion simulation. Fashion simulation. Just made a simulation game. Mm, let's go with a different topic. Right. Uh, hunting action game. There we 
go. Right, now for the name. Now for the name. This is where we get stuck. Um, hunt in action game for the G64. Hunt Master 64. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Hunt Master 64. Engine, quite important. Gameplay down a little bit. Story quest non existent. Da -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Dialogues non existent. Artificial intelligence right up. That looks a bit right. Okay. I said okay. Today, the new game platform by T Taz by Nintendo has been released. There we go! The Taz! <gasps> da -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. God, I love the Naz. Such good games came out on that, like Super Mario Bros. 3, um, Mario Bros. 1, Mario 2, which was actually Do Doki Doki Panic, we know that, but. Still good. Oh, that looks a bit right already. Right, so we'll just sit back, relax, and let this guy crack it. Ooh. Slim City is now off the market. Iron out those bugs. It's always a good idea just to leave it a little bit. Just in case, it's been so many times I've just clicked finish and a little bug just goes up. Come on, come on, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Shows potential. Oh, this is going to be a mediocre game. Quirky but good. What's that you mean? Beautiful. Oh, they, they like it. Could have been better. Okay, I get that. I'm getting it now. Post-release analysis. Uh, sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okay, so focus a bit more on sound next time, and good luck. Good luck. Right. Uh, right. We've got seven, seventy-one research points. We need to research doing a custom game engine. So if we make a custom game engine for ourselves, that means we can make better games and outsell our competitors. So you see up in this corner here, uh, we've got our competitors. Black Wolf Games seems to be doing the best. 1.7 million. Assholes. New research available, game tutorials and mono sound. That's, a, that's for our game engine, so we'll get research in some of that as well. Uh, game tutorials. Research that. Because people like to be shown how to play the game. If they don't if they don't be shown how to play the game, they have no idea, and then they press buttons and go, uh, I don't like this game. <laughs> Huntmaster 64 is now off the market. Right, so I'm gonna need to cruise for a little bit just while I research this stuff. Stop scratching your head! Do it! Every time the little character scratches their head in this game, they just get it. The research bar stops. It annoys me so much. But, you know, if you've got an itch, you've got to scratch it. You've got to scratch it. Develop a new game. 
Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for the fashion game. Fashion simulation. Great combo. Uh, simulation for the PC. Um, thinking along the lines of like Catwalk, Barbie, or something like that. <laughs> Scatlock Barbie. Scatlock Barbie. <laughs> now there could be a, cu a couple of meanings for Scatlock, I guess. Uh, first meaning would be scat as in poop. So it's walking along and just slipping and shit everywhere. Or Scat, as in like scat singing. Skip it, bop bop, do do scat. Scatlock Barbie. Okay, we'll put the engine up quite a bit. Gameplay at about fifty percent. Yeah, slick beans. Nay, dialogue, artificial intelligence, right up, okay. Level design quite high as well. Okay, let's go for that, let's go for that. Recently released Taz Home Console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Well, again. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the Taz, and playing with a controller is so much fun that I'm on a keyboard. So maybe, I don't know, I prefer playing with, with either, really. Depends on the game. Depends on the game. Like for this, I, I prefer using a mouse and keyboard, I, like god forbid, using a controller to type out things, game names and stuff. Scatwalk Barbie, Scatwalk Barbie, Scatwalk Barbie, yeah! Right, we're just about finished. Just iron out a few of these bugs. Waiting. See, that's why you wait. One little bug there. One little bug could ruin the whole game. Record. Oh, it's looking good. They love it. They love it. It's very enjoyable. How can a fucking Scatwalk Barbie game be enjoyable? Fashion and simulation is a great combination. There you go. So we're generating the game report on that. Let's see what happens. Recent studies suggest that the increase in variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. So that's target audiences. There we go. Level design seems to be quite important for Scatwalk Barbie. There you go. You learn something, you learn something every day is a school day. You learn something new every day. Engine reminder. Don't forget creating custom game engines. Yeah, yeah. I know we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that right now after a research mono sound. So you want Got some decent sounds coming out our engine. <laughs> Following the massive success of the Tez console, there are now rumors circulating that Vena Another Japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. 
So I already know which company this is, but let's see if, if you can guess it before it comes up. Research complete. Okay, now we're going to develop our own game engine, I think. And what what shall we call this? The Panda Core. Panda Core V1. It's got 2D graphics, linear stories, save game features, game tutorials, and mono sound. That's that's what the people want. They want mono sound blasting through their headphones. And actually doing this gets you a lot of research points, which is good down the line. Scatwalk Barbie's off the market. Scatwalk! Woohoo! Today, Vena has confirmed recent rumours about the new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful Tez by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. So, if you can have a look at the picture there, try and guess which console that is. That's obviously the Master System by Sega. So, I've actually got one here. Got the Master System 2 by Sega. So. Oh, are we back? To, are we running back to here? Yeah. It's all good. Panda Core V1 just about finished. Right, so now that we're done with that. Excuse me. Let's develop a new game, eh? Uh, we've not done hacking yet. Or wait, can we research something else? We have enough money to do that. No, we need to make a game. We need to make a good game right now. Not, we've not done ha hacking yet, so I'm going to do a hacking strategy game for the G64 on the Panda Core V1. Hacking strategy game called... Terminal. Oh, that's a good name. I'd play a hacking game called Terminal. Right little man. Gonna include game tutorials, save game, linear story. Linear story. So you follow the story, it just takes you takes you along. Artificial intelligence down, level design up. Ah. Terminal Graphics right down, sound up And I'll see here comes the balance in sort of system here. See up there it says graphic at like 81%. You wanna have this so you're not in impacting too much at what, what the game engine can process. So having it set there is only running at 79% of what it can do. And um, luckily for this game, it seems graphics isn't isn't that big a deal. So we'll just leave it at that, running at 79, and that should work okay. So we've got a few bugs there. I would expect a couple more just before we finish this. Today the Master V by Vanna has been released. Cool! 
Cool beans. Thanks for telling us. Right, there's no other bugs in that. Releasing the game. Terminal is ready. Ready for public. They're good. They're gonna love it. First reviews for Terminal came in. Nice experience. Hacking and strategy is a great combination. Nine, oh, great. It was a nine. Played it for days, so that's that's quite a good score. I like a couple of nines in there. Oh, let's see, well, what was that overall? Uh, game history. 8.25, so that's been our highest game so far, is it not? We loved Slim City. <laughs> 8 and 6.25. 7.5. Terminal got 8.25, so yeah, that's our, that's our best game so far. Generate the wee game report of that. Master V has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Gaming history. So if you wanted to learn about gaming history, this is kind of this kind of replicates it. And um, there's other mods you can download for this that give you more consoles, like the Atari and uh, arcade consoles and stuff that you can develop for. Personally, I just I, I'm going to stick with the what I've got there. It gets it gets a little too much, um, and the the market share for everything gets gets fucked up by it. So I don't think it's really worth downloading that mod. No new insights on that game. Brilliant, cool. Thanks. That was very helpful. Um, so we should do some research while this is game selling target audience we want to research. Who are we selling these games to? Who are we selling these games to? According to our market research, the recently published game Terminal is a surprise hit with players. Developer Pandacore is fairly new to the game and industry, but we cannot wait for what they develop next. Whoa, that's good. That's good stuff. Research new topic. We need a new topic because I've done everything there. Um, detective, superhero, school, or racing. Any, <laughs> mini, money, mo. Let's go for racing. Racing simulators are always good. I think, uh, or even, yeah, yeah, thinking along the lines of Mario Kart. Super Yoshi Kart or something. Give Yoshi his own game on the Taz. <laughs> right. Develop a new game. Oh, here we go. That's that's the, the target audience is up now. So we'll do a racing game, which is good for everybody. Simulation. Um, Simulation is always good on the PC. Super Toad's car. There we go. This should kick off. And just in time for Terminal coming off the market on the case with the new game. You see this is why you gotta move fast and keep keep going at it. If you slow down or leave it for like a couple of couple of minutes, it just time flies when you're having fun, as they say. intelligence right up level to sing modestly high <laughs> casual games world design right down you think world design in a racing game would be quite important Hmm. 
Some seems to be quite important there, so I will put that right up. Recent market data shows that the Govador 64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Unofficial state in an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Oh, so that's that's them going out of business soon. Commodore 64. Iron out those bugs, baby. Iron out those bugs. Click. New research. Our user experience. Right, generate game report. And we're going to get our results right now. And. Let's hope for something good. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's not good enough. Today, today, Ninvento has announced they will introduce a portable gaming device called the Game Link. The device comes with a changeable game cartridge, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. So there we go. That's your that's your Game Boy right there, the Gameling. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Gameling is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find huge following. The gameling is said to hit said to hit shelves next month. So just to give you an idea of what the time is going like, um, you can see up here we've got year four, month one, week two, and these that little dot there goes. I'll just unclick it. It'll go, start going down. That represents sort of like the week passing. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this. Okay. want to research that better user experience that'll be for our next game engine so we'll include that along with that successfully researched better user experience there we go uh, we'll go for just a new game Oh, and I think I know what will get us out of the basement. So, if you remember back in the day, uh, I mean, it would have been when I was just getting born, but mature games weren't really a thing. You know, games were considered as kids' games. Just, even if it had like violence and gore and stuff in it, they were just they didn't have really a rating system. So, by making a mature game. That actually builds a little bit of hype, uh, which you can use to your advantage. So let's make a ha another hacking game, but a mature one this time. Uh, hacking simulation. Hacking adventure. Hacking action. Hacking strategy again. Yeah, we'll go for a hacking strategy. And we won't release it on the G64 because we've just received news that that's kind of going out. So we'll stay safe with the PC. And core one. And we'll call this hacking strategy game Hack Attack. Obviously. Had to be done. Yep, let's go. <coughs> uh, that looks a bit right. 
maybe put the engine up slightly. He's scratching his head. Okay, level design right up, dialogues right down, artificial intelligence, getting it high. Let's do that, let us do that. Super Toad Cards now off the market, it generated quite a lot of bucks for us. World design right up, graphics right down, sound level, you know, quite high. Oh, media inquiry. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumour that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yes. So we give an interview, and that'll build us a little bit of hype when it goes into the magazines. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Pandacore. According to the interview with the company, it is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Mr. Panda Pants, the owner and CEO of Panda Corp, said we, we think it, that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Yeah, that's what we're all about. Many industry experts say sooner or later with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Cool. Cool beans. See, and there we've got a little bit of hype. So we just want to make sure that the game doesn't have any bugs in it before we release it. Uh, the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great way for game developers to market their upcoming games, so you can pay a little bit of money to get <coughs> marketing going with magazines and get your games in the magazines and that builds a little bit of hype as well. So marketing actually costs 40 research points which we don't have at the moment. Hack attack. Hack attack. Hack attack. Yo. Release that shit. Generate a game report man. Oh, this is looking promising. Almost perfect. Seven. Nine. What oh, are you informed, gamer? Ah, total mixed reviews there. So what? Mm, I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Just quickly see that. I got an 8 overall. So. But I got hyped as well, so that should do something for it. Um. Well, research stuff. New topic. Airplane. Airplane! Uh. Goal hint. If you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This so might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll get to this mount easily. So we need to just release a hit game. Oh, so now the game gear is coming out. Uh, the Vena gear. <laughs> yep, yeah, develop a new game. Let's go for it. Uh, straight up, y'all. Straight up, y'all. 
what did we do? Hack attack, which was a hacking simu a hacking strategy. So this time we'll go for airplane simulation. Uh, we just have to play it safe on the PC again. Plan decor. Um, well, what was? I had a great name for an airplane game on one of our previous games. Uh, Super Skies. That's a great name for a series. Everyone. Yeah. For everybody. Right, so I'm going to make this my last game before I take a little break here. So we want artificial intelligence right up, but level design quite high, and dialogues non-existent. Architect's still at 21. 23. Check-ins. I've no idea why I keep saying chickens, by the way. I keep saying it. Check-ins. Design pretty low, graphics high, sound pretty high. Pretty high! Hack attacks now off the market. We're just about at a million. Just a bit. Today, the new game platform Vanagear by Vanna has been released. Uh -uh. Vanna! I'm never sure when to click finish at this bar. I'll just do it. Right. Come on. The tension is killing me. The tension's killing me! They never liked it. They did not like it that much. It's getting seven and eight. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Not good enough. Not good enough. Come on, Mr. Panda Pants. Right, now we've got quite a lot of research points there, so we can... What are we going to research? Level Ladder for our next game engine, yes. I want to get those as soon as I can. Okay, I think we're going to end it there for today. Um, this has been my first video, so you can probably tell I'm a bit... Uh, but I can only yeah, get better. If you have enjoyed this, then please do give me a like. Uh, let me know that you have liked it. And I'll continue to do a part two. And I would like to actually play this game series right through to the end. So, uh, yeah, please support me. And I'll catch you in the next video.